everyone, welcome to our January live session. We will be talking about all the preparation and process for Valentine's Day. We are here with our Chief Operating Officer, Juan Martin Gomez, who will be taking with us with the journey. Hello, Michelle. Really nice to see you here at the farm. Really and nice to see you too. Hello, me. everyone. And we have a couple of questions we want to ask you about all the process and preparation for Valentine's Day. So, since when we start to taking all the preparations and process for video? Well, we start um, preparing the plants from October. We start fertilizing, putting some biostimulants and everything. So fr since October, we stopped the pinch uh, every week. So we can conserve a lot of different materials. So when it comes the last, last week of October and beginning of November, it will be the 90 days that has the cycle. So we will prepare for Valentine's. How much the print, the, how much time does the printing process takes? Well, it, it's between a it different, it, it can differ, uh, differentiate between every um, uh, different variety because every variety has a different cycle. We pinch, although we have 150 varieties, it, 150 varieties, it will be like a week and a half or two weeks that we start pinching. But if a variety has their own cycle, we pinch that on the same day. We, we try to have on the same day and it depends on the different blocks because we have different greenhouses and different parts of the farm that we have to pinch one, day, one on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. So we won't have the full production on the same day so we will, can spread between the two weeks that we have for Valentine's. Perfect. Now we are at the greenhouse full of freedoms. And yes. How much time does the printing process out of freedom take? Freedom's always around 90 days here. We're in Cayambe, we're at uh, 2,800 uh, meters be above sea level. So we will take approximately 90 days. It depends, some, some of the parts we pinch at uh, the beginning. The middle, the middle part, it will be the most uh, hot of the greenhouse. So we start from the cold part to the hot part. And uh, we start on the um, forest part that will be next to the to the wall of the greenhouse, um, that, that's where, where we start. Perfect. Uh, what do you do to achieve the perfect stage for a rose? Well, for, for the stage, we, we have to check on the number of petals that has already uh, been uh, softened. I've, as we can see here, we have one completely separate already from the flower and one uh, will be starting at, there will be a 1.5 cutting stage. We cut at 2.5. Uh, okay. So we will be, for tomorrow, if there's sun, we will have um, these uh, rows ready for the post harvest. So that is how you know when the cutting stage is ready, right? Correct. We see flower by flower and, and uh, our uh, workers try to check on the uh, cutting stage and then we will see that uh, when you get all the net of 20 stems into the post harvest, we'll have the same cut stage and that gives us for when you put it on a vase, everything will start opening really nice and uh, at the same time, all the flowers. Um, we know that the weather is a great factor that influences uh, the production of the rose. Uh, how has it been this year in terms of weather? That's our worst nightmare for an agriculture and in the rose uh, industry. You never know here in Ecuador what's gonna happen. You can have a rainy day on the starting of the day and at, for the afternoon, the yes. sun will be out. The biggest problem for Rose, roses are botrytis. Botrytis is something that starts with a lot of humidity. And um, if it rains a lot, we can start having uh, a lot of infections of the, of the fungus on the flowers. And if a flower has uh, botrytis, it turns brown the whole uh, petal and it, okay. and, and it doesn't work for any of the vases or any things that you need to, to work with the flowers. So, I can tell that this year we started with a really sunny November and December. And after Christmas, the climate was really strange. It changed completely and um, it started to rain a lot and had really cold nights. We, um, because of the beginning, we thought it was gonna be a really dry, um, it's, it's, we call it winter. Here it's only two uh, seasons in Ecuador. There's the dry season and the wet season and start commonly starts in September to rain 
and here in in November it rains usually it rains but it didn't rain it didn't rain all November and all the beginning of December and we start to see that the production was coming early three, it, it changes three to four days it's not something that you can change two weeks or three weeks it's something that changes a bit but it, it's always uh, to consider on when is gonna the, the flowers are gonna be leaving to the airport and everything so everything will be uh, exactly on the same uh, time so at uh, this year we started with really good weather and now it's really bad you you have a sunny day like right now and in the afternoon it's raining a lot yeah. and you don't know what's going to happen that's something unpredictable here in ecuador yes what does rosa prima make it to conserve that and a no like guarantee all the process to get the perfect rose well we're already 27 years in the industry and it, we have been in this farm already from the beginning so every year we know all the data of what's happening how we treat the flowers what's uh, the problem in this greenhouse what can we do and the processes that we have we have like 10 or 12 uh, different we, we call it um, it's cultural labels that you have to clean the bed take out all the leaves cut the stems that are dead um, at least fumigate one or two times a, a week Uh, we know already the fertilizers that we need for the plants and uh, as you can see there's a lot of flowers they're really nice we're really prepared for valentine's um maybe we'll have one or two days of different uh problems because of the climate but it's not going to be any problem for all our beautiful clients that have their beautiful roses of rosa prima yes i believe that everyone's suspecting rosa prima roses for valentine's day Uh, we know that we work uh, through the cable feed line to, for the transportation of our roses. How much time does it take uh, from the greenhouse to the post harvest? Well, from this greenhouse, it's really quick. We are maybe um, 600 meters from the, our post harvest. If it was the, usually we had the, the common way, it, we, we had to took on those uh, uh, different buckets. buckets with a lot of water and a guy came with a car and took the 40 nets. Now at time, uh, we, we have the, the, the cable and what we do is we bring the nets directly from the, the harvest uh, to the post harvest in three, four minutes. So it doesn't have to take that much time when it's cut it so it can be hydrated on, on, our, on our post harvest. I believe that that reduces our water consumption. Correct. Every every bucket that you see over there, it has 80 liters. Every day we had to change the water so it will be fresh and it will be completely good. Every different station we had in a hectare, we had four stations um, of, and that was three three buckets of 80, liter, 80 liters. So it was almost 120,000 gallons that we uh, used uh, every day, and now we're we're um, getting it uh, much better. I believe that's great. Uh, what other alternatives does Rosa Prima take to be more sustainable? Now we're, since 2013, we've been from uh, part of Rainforest Alliance, and we are really, really deeply on trying to have the best uh, manners and ways to produce more uh, sustainable the, the flowers. As you can see, the climate is always uh, having more and more problems. So if we don't try to have a better way to produce more uh, without chemicals and less aggressive to, the, to, to our fields, to our soil, this is um, a, a farm that has been 27 years already working on the same land with the same greenhouse. And if you don't protect the soil, we can't produce. And, and it, that will be something that now in Ecuador is really hard to uh, see new and new farms because the the great place to to have flowers are really near from the city you can yeah. go into more or less lasso and then go in the north until cayambe and every time we're, we're having less and less uh soil to produce flowers and to produce everything in for for our food and everything perfect Juan Martin. to close this up uh, what do people uh, expect for valentine's day Give, him, well, give them a message. The best thing is to have our beautiful flowers. Uh, we will be on time with uh, all our new um, stems and have our, our, our better 
uh, freedoms that, that are incredible for, for all our clients and be sure that everything that we're gonna ship it will be with the best quality as always as Rosa Prima is uh, always known. Thank you for joining to our live session. We see you next time. Bye, bye everyone. Bye.